Hello everyone, September here, and today I bring to you a pretty awesome saber. I got this saber roughly about a month or so ago, just so I can get as plenty as hands-on experience with this saber to see if it's something I would recommend to you all, and I say yes, I can. So without further ado, here it is. This is the Kypers, Kypers, I can't speak for some reason, but not to be confused with Kyber Light. This is a completely different saber. This is from a guy from Amazon called Upstone, and this is available for Prime users, so you can get free two-day shipping. So, not only is that good, but this can run you around at least a hundred or ten dollars or so. So, a very expensive saber, especially for all it offers to you. So let's get on to a comparison. So I like to compare this saber with how thick it is compared to let's say this saber forward saber that is just from the uh, different parts thing. So I want to put it close so as you can see it is not as thick, so it is a little bit thinner, and also with the blade, and there, let me do my best to, uh, um, it's, it's a little bit shorter than this one, but not too bad, and not only that, but this is of a thinner blade compared to most standard blades that you might see from Ultra Sabers or Saber Forge. So that's something you gotta keep in mind if you want to get the Saber. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back since I just want to show you the comparison on that. So what some of the cool things about this Saber? Well, this Saber carries 11 different color options. And not only that, but it carries three sound fonts. So let's go ahead and we're going to turn the saber on. Now, before I get any further, there is a charge port right here, and it does come with a charger. Most sabers come with chargers, so... At least I think, unless there is some that you got by a separate charger, but I don't know. So anyway, and right here is the ignition switch, and also this activates and controls all the different menu options. Now the menu is a little bit weird to uh, get used to, so you gotta play around with it and get used to it. I'm just getting around to getting used to it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Hold it on just once, and it turns on. So how do you change the colors? Very simple. All you have to do is hold this switch, which illuminates, until you feel it pulsates three times. After the third pulse, let go and it will change colors. So let's go ahead and go over some of the colors. Right now we have the very standard blue. We have a, I don't know what to call this color, it's kind of a purplish color. I'm very bad at describing colors. Now, by the way, this might appear a little bit different depending on the cameras. So, I'm going to try my best to describe these colors as I can. But all I can say is, these, all these colors are nicely bright. So let's go ahead and switch to the next color. Here we have a nice kind of a light green. Pretty nice. Go ahead. Here we have a white. Here we have a purple. We have a pinkish color, a light pink, I would say. Here we have a pretty nice red, which I am very happy with. Let's go on. Here we have a orange color. Here we have a nice yellow. I really like this yellow on this blade. It looks nice. Here we have a more of a darker green, which is pretty nice. 
a lighter blue. So this is kind of like an arctic blue, I would believe they would call it. And now we're back to regular blue. Now one of the things that makes this sayer pretty bright is the fact that since this is a thinner blade, the color shines a little bit nicer, so it doesn't have as much thickness to go through, if I hope I say that correctly. It does have a film in it, like Saber Forge blades and mostly other blades, pretty much. So it has a nice color going through the entire blade. Now, would I say this is a good dueling blade? I would say it's okay for light sparring, but it's definitely perfectly okay for spinning and cosplay and other things like that, which is one of the things I do recommend for this blade. So, let's go into the other options. Now, let's go ahead into the different strobe effects or different effects in general. So, hold it once, let go, and this is more of a solid one, the other one was more of a pulsating color. Let's go ahead. Oh, this is the little bit, uh, color's been a little bit darker. Okay, here we go. Now it's doing kind of a fading out. A little more faster fading out. Now we have a strobe effect. Stro strobe effect. And now we're back to the pulsating thing. The bobber. Thing. So this does have clash on a clash. Here's the lockup. Hold it two times. And then I'll do this. So hold it to it has the second pulse, and that's what activates that. It's kind of weird, I'd rather it be the one we just hold it once, and it pulsates, and the other option is the one that changes, because if you're in the mood and you want to do like some cool stuff and put on a show, you got to remember that when you're fighting, so this is kind of weird to navigate sometimes, so I've been saying so a lot, I'm sorry for that. But anyway, this does take a little bit to turn off. It's not an automatic cutoff. So you gotta hold it until it cuts it off, and that's usually three pulses, and hold it until it cuts off, so. There. Now, let's talk about changing the sound fonts. This does have three sound fonts, and let me show you the, if I can get, there is the holes for the speaker. And this is a fairly loud saber, I would say. You can change the volume settings on here to a low, medium, and high. And also, you can mute it as well. Now let's go ahead and talk about changing the sound fonts. Now, you hold it two times when it's off. So, now these have very generic sound fonts. Well, actually, this one's a little bit different. Hopefully you can hear that. Clash on clash. Alright, now hold it and we'll cut it off so I can switch to the third sound font. Alright, hold it again. Three. Alright, and there you go. There's all three sound fonts. And it's fairly bleh. and it's fairly responsive with the uh, turning and stuff like that, making the sounds. So it's not 100% on that, but that's kind of a uh, minor flaw. Compared to everything else on the Saber, it's not really that bad. So, let's go ahead and turn it off. Now, let's talk about the mute function. So, all you have to do when it's off, hold it three times. And when the third time, it will give it like a quick, louder vibration. And there we go. Now it still has the clash on clash and all that, but no sound. So this is great if you want to uh, have 
do uh, videos and things like that, and you want to add the sound in later, and things like that, so this has a lot of cool uses. So let's go ahead and cut it off. And let's turn the sound back on. Hold it three times, and you'll get a little sound indicating that the sound is back on. So, let's talk about, well, how awesome it is to use. Now, like I said, I wouldn't recommend heavy dueling, but I do recommend light sparring and spinning. And this saber is excellent at spinning. Now, we see this guy right here. This fat loser, he can spin it quite well, doing finger tricks and things like that. So let's go ahead and switch over to, <laughs> look at this sexy guy right here, as you can tell, that's me. This thing, due to its light weight and its fairly decent balance, this thing is a breeze to spin. You can spin this thing all day, and due to its elegant but slick design, there's no sharp edges, there's nothing in your way. You can spin this saber pretty much all day. It's easy to carry around at conventions and all that. But I have to say there is one minor thing that um, I'm not too happy about about this saber, which practically makes it useless for me. It can't cut through anything. Seriously, what am I going to do with this? I mean, it's cool to play around with, but... I can't fight Zip with this. Can't block my Blaster Bolts with it either. But it's not for me, I guess. So for all you people who aren't Force sensitive, I would say yes, this is a nice saber. And I will leave a link to this wonderful thing in the description box below. And remember, it is on Prime, so you do get two-day shipping, so if you need a saber quick, an awesome saber at that, I highly recommend you check this out. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my little review of this bad boy. This is Timber, signing off. Seriously, what am I supposed to do with this thing? I can't fight! <laughs>